Yo, what's going on? It's Frost Corner, and welcome to Mod Showcase Monday. Today, we'll be covering Young's Cave Biomes. Let's grab that. Now, this mod adds two new cave biomes, being the Lost Cave and the Frost Cave. The Frost Cave is the smaller of the two, adding Enchanted Ice, Frost Lilies, Icicles, and Creeping Ice, which will spread to the other blocks around it, as you can see it doing here. I didn't place it on this log, I placed it on the floor, and it has started to move upwards. It is also slippery, so it could make a cool addition for like a trap or something like that. But where this mod pack really shines is its Lost Caves. The Lost Caves add a ton of new sands and sandstones, as well as a prickly peach cactus and prickly vines, which are obviously prickly. Now I believe that these two biomes are best explored rather than talked about, so let's gear up and make our way down to the teleporter. Here it is. Now I just had this installed the other day, so I hope I hope it works. We should just be able to throw this here book and that, yep. And then if we flick this lever, we should be placed in either a frost cave or a lost cave. Oh, okay, so it looks like we're starting with a frost cave. Now, the first thing you'll probably notice if I quiet down for a second is the ambience. This ambience is provided by enchanted ice that can be found encased within, well, normal ice like this. As you've also probably noticed, these frost lilies here provide light. So if we were to turn off our night vision for a second, you can see that there's a nice low glow. It really makes this biome feel magical. Now I'm going to turn back on the night vision for showcasing purposes because when it gets real dark, YouTube doesn't like that. So whew, that's better. Now, the Frost Caves also come equipped with icicles, which perform pretty much exactly like Dripstone. I'll see if we can spot it here, but they do drip just like Dripstone, and if you break an icicle up at the root here, they fall and create some nice, really, really pleasant particles. Now, there is also a mob that comes with this biome, so let's go exploring and see if we can find one. Oh, there's one. In the Frost Caves, you can find a new mob known as the Ice Cube, which behaves a lot like a slime, but slippery because it's ice. Now, if I purposefully get hit by this, you can see that it applies the frost effect, similar to like powdered snow. You can also see that these have quite a bit of health. These are going to be pretty dangerous to encounter, especially if you are underprepared. Speaking of which, while well, we built the teleporter here, I don't know how we're supposed to get back. Oh well, guess we better start exploring. At least we came prepared. Is this one? It is. Well, let's get down here so we can show this one off. Similar to the ice caves, you'll notice an ambience to this one. Obviously, you have the particles coming down from the ceiling but you also have some blowing around in the wind that you can hear. Now, these small cactuses are prickly peach cactuses, and when they have this little pink bit at the top, you can harvest them. Now, obviously, it spawns more normal cactuses as well as the hanging cactuses or the, the prickly vines. Hold on, give me a second to, to find out what they're called. Yeah, the prickly vines. Hold on, this is for science. Can you climb prickly vines? You can, it just, it just will hurt. This biome also adds a new mob that is going to be a little harder to find, so keep your eyes peeled. Oh, there's one. That is a sand snapper. They bury themselves underground like that and wait for an unsuspecting victim. It's running. So it looks like they're passive. Now, I will say, if you showed me a sand snapper and an ice cube side by side, I would have guessed that the sand snapper would have been the aggressive one. But it looks like they're just, they're just little guys. Cause he fully runs from me whenever I get close. Now, here's the thing I really don't want to do. 
In order to fully conduct a research, I do need to hit it and see if it gets aggressive. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to do this. No, they don't. Okay, well, I'm going to take my anger out on you. I didn't want to have to hit him. And just like he appeared, it looks like he has disappeared. All right, bye, man. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to I'm gonna leave you to your own devices. Have fun. And we have to find a way back to the house. Maybe next time I'll, I'll pack a compass. Ugh. Home at last, man. Now, those caves were cool, but it's nice to be home. Despite their size, both of the biomes contain absolutely incredible atmospheres and are super fun to explore. Now, I may be a sucker for cave biomes and I may enjoy ambience, so I may be a little biased, but I absolutely love the two biomes added by Young's cave biomes. I think that despite their size, they manage to hold an absolutely amazing atmosphere and they're both super fun to explore. But now that I've showcased all that the mod has to offer, let me know what mod you'll like to see me cover next week. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe if you haven't. But that's all for today. See ya.